Okay, so I want to take a few moments to explain what you have to do with this advertising um, print ad activity that's a test grade. So where you're going to go to your classroom, and I'm just picking second period here, but you'll go to your classroom and you'll go down to the sixth cycle and you'll see there's a couple of entries. The ones you need to pay attention to are the print ad activity and the advertising slideshow, the final eight slides. I need you to look at those two things. So the first thing I want you to do is open up the print ad activity. All right, and you see the print ad activity. Now, you should have up here, the pro, it is programmed, it is set to cut you your own copy. And so up here in this right hand area that I'm, I'm circling around, you should see a file that it has now created that is a copy of this uh, template that you're starting off with for the activity. So let me open that up. What you're going to do is, of course, you're going to start by, you know, replacing this with your own name and your class period. You're going to decorate this slideshow so you can pick um, themes, you can pick uh, themes, the layout, backgrounds, all of those things you could you could pick out and you know um, play with as far as decorating it. So then you'll see slide two and it says slogan. Now this is where I want you to go back to the classroom once you've got that open and go up to this um, advertising slideshow the final eight slides. Now a few of you are only going to have it's going to say the final four depending on your curriculum um, and your modifications and accommodations. So but let's look at that for a moment. You'll see here that I am telling you how your slideshow should be laid out. So you have your name uh, slide that you have your name slide as slide one then slide two you have a slogan slide three you have a slogan and they say already done because we did those in class already and you're going to work through so that by the time it's done um, some of you will have fewer slides but the full assignment will have 15 slides two examples of each type of advertisement. So what do I mean by that? So the first one is slogan. So I'm going to go out, open a window, and I'm going to type in um, slogan advertising. I misspell advertising. Uh, and I'm going to put, click on images. So I'm doing an image search. So it automatically gives me some examples that I can choose from. So for example, have a break, have a Kit Kat. That's a slogan um, that the company uses to advertise their product. So if I like that one, then I can um, copy the image of it and I can paste the image in. Now it's going to come in um, in its own shape sometimes and so you can you can play with it about where you want it. Okay now how you lay this screen out is up to you but you need the ad and then you need to answer this in a short paragraph or a short um, explanation uh, statement. You're going to tell me the advertising technique is using slogan. You're going to tell me who the target audience might be, who you think the target audience might be. Um, people who enjoy chocolate and or people who enjoy candy bars. Uh, some of them it's much more obvious. A dieting ad may be targeted at women or um, a protein shake ad may be targeted at men or so think about who this is targeted at. This one's a little harder. I would say it's more generic, but give me some explanation. Um, what is the message? You know, 
the message in the slogan, have a break, have a Kit Kat. Okay, well you break Kit Kats, but you also they're also implying you take a break. It's a, a Kit Kat's a nice time to relax. So that's the message. If you want to relax a little bit and have a moment, it's good to have a snack um, while you're taking a break. And then, is this effective? Or is it not effective? And explain that. So you're just giving me a little paragraph description. Then, after you're finished with that one, you need another slogan because our slides say slogan. So then you'll get another slogan. And uh, paste it on the next slide. And you'll have your explanation. Once you've done the two slogans, then you're going to have to add a slide and um, I'll go to this layout and you're going to look back at this list and the next two are bandwagons. So this next one oop, this next one I'm going to type in bandwagon then I'm going to go out and once again um, instead of slogan advertising I will do an image search for bandwagon advertising. So, um, and here's bandwagon. Just do it. Everyone else did. You want to be like everyone else. Uh, Australians, over a million Australians, if you're a good Australian. Um, a million hamburgers sold. All of these are examples of bandwagon. Real men use Max. If you're a real man, you use Mac. So uh, you go out and you find examples of these various print ads all the way through. And again, decorate it, make it be creative, but make sure that you're getting the right type of ad and that you are explaining the, these elements. And that's it. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, or an instant instant message and I'll be happy to get back to you okay